Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Image Manipulation Using Arrays. In this tutorial, you will learn to read images into arrays, perform processing on them using simple array manipulations. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 Operating System, Python 3.4.3, and IPython 5.1.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to run basic Python commands on the IPython console and access parts of arrays. If not, see the relevant Python tutorials on this website. Please download the files squires.png and python.png from the code files link of this tutorial. Save the files in the current working directory. First, we will learn how to access parts of an array. For this purpose, we shall use the image squares.png present in the current working directory. Let us start IPython. Open the terminal. Type IPython3. And press Enter. From here onwards, remember to press the Enter key after typing every command on the terminal. To read an image into an array, we use the imread command. Let us now read the data in squares.png into the array img. Type import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Then type img is equal to plt.imread. Inside brackets, inside single quotes, squares.png. In the first line, pyplot is imported from matplotlib module with plt as alias. This is to make use of methods like imread, which are part of pyplot. We can see the image by using the functions imshow followed by show. Type plt.imshow inside brackets img. Then type plt.show open and close brackets. It displays the image in a separate pop-up window. The original image is in the black and white. But here we do not see black and white because I am show has mapped black and white to different colors. This can be changed by using a different color map. Close the image window to return to the IPython console. In order to see the original black and white image, type plt.imshow inside brackets img, cmap is equal to inside single quotes gray. Then type plt.show open and close brackets. Now we can see the image in black and white. Close the image now. To see what has been read into img variable, Type img. We can see that an array is displayed. To check the dimensions of any array, we can use shape function. Type img.shape. As we can see, we got the dimensions of the image. The image squares.png has the dimensions of 300 by 300. Now we wish to obtain the top left quarter of the image. To do this, we need to access top half of the rows and left half of the columns of the array. We know that the shape of the image is 300 by 300. For top left corner of the image, we need first 150 rows and the first 150 columns. So type img inside square brackets colon 150 comma colon 150. This gives us the top left corner of the image. We use the imshow command to see the slice we obtained in the form of an image. Type as shown. We got the required slice now. Close this image. Pause the video. Try this exercise and then resume the video. Obtain the square in the center of the image squares.png with the size 150 by 150. 
Since we need to get center of the image, we take rows from 1 fourth to 3 fourth of the rows, that is from 75 to 225, and the columns from 1 fourth to 3 fourth of the columns, that is from 75 to 225. Switch to the terminal for the solution. Type as shown. Hence, we get the center of the image. Close this image. You can also save the sliced image array to a new variable. Type img1 is equal to img inside square brackets 75 colon 225 comma 75 colon 225. Then to see the image, type as shown. Close this image window. We also know how to stride over an array. For that, we can drop alternate rows and columns out of the image. Type img inside square brackets colon colon 2 comma colon colon 2. To see this image, type as shown. We can see that the scale has reduced. We can observe some blurring near the edges if you scale it down further. Close the image window to return to the IPython console. To increase the step to 4, type as shown. Close the image window to return to the IPython console. We shall use the image python.png present in the current working directory. Now we have an RGB image. Let us slice the image and see what happens. Type as shown. We can see the image. Close the image window to return to the IPython console. To check the dimensions of IMG, we can use shape function. Type img.shape. The third number shows that there are four channels. These are corresponding to red, green, blue and transparency value of the image. The first number shows that the height of the image is 600. The second number shows that the width of the image is also 600. Now we will slice the red channel of the array. Type plt.im show inside brackets img inside square brackets colon comma colon comma zero. Then type plt.show open and close brackets. We got the required red channel of the array. Close this image. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to read images into arrays and manipulate them. Here is a self-assessment question for you to solve. The shape of the variable img is 600,600,4. What will be the shape of img1 if img1 is equal to img inside brackets colon colon 2 comma colon colon 4? And the answer is 300 comma 150 comma 4. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on Python in this forum. FOSI team coordinates the TBC project. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.